Hi guys, so you might be wondering what application integration is. And really it just describes a few services which we're going to cover in this section and how they're used to connect applications with each other. Now it sounds very complex and developer oriented, but it really isn't or it's not at least at the level that we're going to cover it for this exam. So all I want to do is make sure that you understand four different services and what they're used for. And that's really the level of complexity in the exam. They just need you to understand what these services are and when and why you would use them. So one of the ways that you can decouple an application, and that means that you're separating components of an application. Now, that's a bit architecture oriented, but what you'll find is when we get to the architecting for the cloud section later in the course, we do actually go into this in a bit more detail. And it is a core requirement for the exam that you understand basic architecture patterns. So with decoupling, which is a way of architecting your applications, what you're doing is taking one application, so perhaps there's an application over here on the left, and you're separating it from another component of your application. Now, these components need to communicate with each other, send information to each other. So in this case, the simple notification service is used and that sends notifications using what, what's called a topic. So this means that these application components are not talking directly to each other. They're talking via the simple notification service. So in this case, the publisher sends a message in a topic and then the subscribers receive that. So that's just a quick example of using SNS. Another way you can decouple your applications is using a message queue. And so this is an example of using a message queue at the bottom here. Now at the top, this would be where you're not using decoupling. So in this case, you've got direct integration. So let's say a EC2 instance in an auto scaling group is sending information to be processed by the application tier. So you've got your web tier and your application tier. Now, what happens if the web tier receives a lot of information and it's getting lots of requests and the app tier, when it's processing it, is unable to keep up? Now, of course, you've got auto scaling, so that helps because it will add instances. But there still can be a problem where your data that's coming in is not getting processed quickly enough. So what happens with decoupling at the bottom here is you put a queue in the middle. So the web tier receives some data to be processed. It puts it on the queue and then the app tier, when it's ready, will then pull the queue, find the data and then process it. So that's decoupling your applications. Also in application integration, we have workflow services. And this example here is AWS step functions. And what happens here is that you have multiple sort of layers in this state machine and each of those corresponds to some data being processed. So for instance here, the workflow starts, we extract some metadata from an image, then you check the type of the image, transform and so on. So these are all different components of the application and the data gets processed at different layers. So there are four services we'll cover in this section. Firstly, the simple notification service. So that's about sending notifications. Then the simple queue service, so that's the decoupling using a message queue. We then have the simple workflow service. Now, the simple workflow service is another workflow service like step functions, um, but it's a much older one. And you use it in certain use cases where you have human enabled workflows. And I'll talk more about that in the lesson where we cover SWF. And then lastly, we have step functions. So there's not really a huge amount of extra detail that you need for the exam above what I've just told you. But I think it's worth, this is a short section anyway, so it's definitely worth just going through the next few lessons and just learning a little bit more detail about each of these services.